up guys, welcome back to the videos. I'm actually gonna try out this whole daily vlog throughout the entire month of December thing. I haven't done daily videos in probably two years, so it's definitely gonna be hard, but I'm gonna give it a go and try it out. So in the last video, you guys saw that we took the BRZ drifting, and I told you guys I was going to assess the entire car, look it completely over, and uh, hopefully try and find out what's up with the whole breaking up issue. Now, our thought was it was the gas, and you guys saw that I completely ran out of gas, and we actually had to like push the car off the track but um i went ahead went to the gas station got a fresh tank of e85 for this thing and i'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with e85 but right now i am changing the oil because um after every track day i just like to change the oil to be extra sure that i'm taking care of this car and so while it trains i thought i'd just go ahead and walk over the entire car to kind of show you guys what i want to do today and some of the things that i noticed uh happened during the drift event so number one obviously gas we got e85 number two i'm gonna go ahead and walk around cosmetic to kind of show you guys what happened. So whenever I went and crashed the car into the tires, we did get some damage up front. Obviously, we got that right there. And we cracked the bumper. No rip to this BRZ bumper, but I'm gonna use it as long as we can keep it on. It's held on by lots of love and zip ties. As long as we can keep this thing on there, as long as it's gonna stay. Over here, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell on the side of the car, but I did smash a cone on the track. track. It's very light scratches, which will probably buff out, but that was pretty awesome. Some more damage from the cone right there. Moving on around, I destroyed a front bumper that somebody left on the track. Um, so yeah, that happened. And then if you look under here, one of my tires popped and it's completely wrapped around the axle right there. So this wheel is gonna have to come off and I'm gonna have to cut off a bunch of rubber off of the axle. This side looks pretty good. And then of course, now we are changing the oil. So overall today's just gonna be like a little maintenance day. And once we put in the new oil, put in the E85, I'm gonna take this thing for a couple of passes down the street and see if this thing is still breaking up. All right, it looks like we were able to drain all of the oil. We let it sit for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got for the BRZ. Today, we're gonna be using the Valvoline Full Synthetic 10W30 because my car is boosted. I think stock oil for if you're like driving the car every day, it's daily driver and it's not boosted is OW20, but we wanted a uh, we wanted a heavier weight for the boosted car. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and use. I think it's just like five quarts or like 5.8 quarts. So we're gonna feel it out, but we're gonna use the Valvoline uh, Full Synthetic for today's oil change. So once we change the oil, we can put in the E85 and clear up uh, the tire on the axle and go and go for a rip in this thing. Hopefully the issue's fixed, we'll see, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and start swapping everything out. Oil change is complete. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and fix all of the tire that's wrapped up in my axle so that I can go ahead and fill this thing up with the 85 and go drive it around. So. Oh yeah, that is a pretty big mess. That's not good and it only keeps getting worse. So I need to find some cutters so I can actually cut all of this rubber out of my axle and my brake lines. That's, oh man. Yeah, you definitely don't want this to get all wrapped up in your brake lines and have something pinch and I don't know. It could just be a very, very big mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all of this. Okay, after some struggle, I think we are able to get most of this out of here. Let's see. That is a lot of tire, dude. Oh, and you can even tell that my my boot right here, if you guys can see that, you guys can see My boot right here was smushed in because of how much tire there was. But now we have cleared all of that. I think we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel back on, or a different wheel actually, and go give this thing a little test drive with the new oil and fill it up with the E85. Definitely not good. Now is what he's either gonna make or break today. All right, 85 is in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and start it, let it idle for a couple of minutes, and then uh, take it for a test drive, let the 85 run through it a little bit. I really, really hope this works. So let's start it up. Okay, we cleaned up around. 
around the shop a little bit, got everything out of the way and good to go. Now it's time for the real test. Will the car work correctly? Um, here's my flex fuel sensor. It has the green light, which means flex fuel is running okay. So that's why I really don't think it's the fuel issue, but it can't hurt to try before we go full send and do the spark plug. So since it's been idling for about five to 10 minutes now, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing out. One thing I'm already noticing is the check engine light is still on. I'm noticing that that hasn't gone away yet, but that really doesn't mean too much. It could be just because I haven't driven the car yet, but the car looks like it's uh, it's pretty warm already, so it's going to pull it out. So we actually have a loose flap underneath the car now, which I didn't even see. So we'll be hearing some uh, scraping noise like that for a little bit. That's so annoying. And that is a loose flap underneath the car. Sick. So it's this guy right here flapping. So I'm gonna get it. So trim piece is off. I should probably replace this at some point because it looks like it's covering up the brake lines. But just for right now, until I can cut this little piece off, which is like scraping. We're good for the test drive. Finally. Unfortunately, I only had enough for half a tank of E85, which I really should have put a whole tank of E85. So depending on how this thing runs right now, I might go fill it up completely, but let's check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the ground and we're good to go. Noticing zero breakup right now. We're gonna go on the main road and try it out there, but Wow, okay, we might We might have actually really fixed the issue right now. I am like mind blown that this just happened Okay, let's really see what we get on the bit on the on the main road All right, we're gonna do third gear here All right, third gear pull Call John and tell him. Hey, what's up, Dustin? John. What's up, buddy? I fixed the issue. What's up? Uh, I just took it for. Well, I changed the oil, put the 85 in it, and took it for a nice rip and no breakup at all, at all. It's the gas. I told you. It's got to be 100 percent the gas. What do they say? You keep saying no. But but the check engine light is still on, which is weird. Maybe it just needs to like. Yeah. Right. It's going to keep reading that shit. But you need to make sure you fill it up because if the content's off, it's going to keep throwing you off. Right. Okay. All right. BRZ is back in the shop and good to go. Now, 
Thankfully and hopefully that was the cause of the issue on the track day There's no real way of knowing until we go back out on the track and test it out But either way, I'll probably go ahead and replace the spark plugs anyways Just because if I was driving around like that, it probably burnt them out Especially if there was a vacuum leak as well So next big thing maintenance wise for this car will definitely be the spark plugs But for today's purposes, I think we did pretty good oil gas and fix a couple of the issues that we had during the track day now i'm gonna head home meet up with tiana and we are actually getting our christmas tree and this is very special because this is our very first christmas where we are both together if you guys don't know i'm from mississippi and she's originally from la so we've never spent christmas together and this will be the first time that we'll be able to have a tree in our own apartment together and be on christmas together fully so i'm very very excited for that but we're gonna head home and let the brz rest okay we are finally getting our christmas tree are you excited yes we've so, never gotten a christmas tree together that's, that's what i said it's our first time now it may look like it's 10 o'clock at night but it's actually six o'clock so uh don't let this this is terrible but yeah oh, getting a tree well oh, pretty that's way too big no way. Where do you think that's going to fit? We have high ceilings. Not a chance. That is huge, dude. That's like 10 feet. That's way too big. Come on, let nope. it be our first tree. Come on, come on. Keep Love moving. Her. Look, like like this guy right here is a nice size. It's like Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> So we just unraveled this one. Think, think this is the one. Listen, we do it. Did we do I like it. I like that one too. And it's the first one that you pick and unravel. Nice. All right, tree is strapped down and good to go. We are gonna head home. Are you excited? Yes, it's our first Christmas tree, baby. Everybody, right right to show everybody. That is the best looking tree I've ever seen. It's a it's a good tree. It looks so good, it looks fake. There it is. So it's it's bare. That was not an exciting reveal, but <laughs> no. But seriously, it looks like a fake tree that you would get, but it's real. I know. It looks a good looking I'm tree. So, this is the best tree I've ever seen in my life. That's a great tree. So. We are not gonna decorate it tonight. Tiana still has a few things that, where are you at? She has a few things that she wants to get for the tree and you guys will have to wait until tomorrow's video to see the tree all decorated. But this is our Christmas tree and we are gonna go ahead and end the video here. Right, babe? Yeah. So I'm super happy that we fixed the BRZ. We have tons of exciting stuff coming for it. So um, stay tuned for all of that. I will see you guys in tomorrow's videos because I'm, I'm really doing this thing. Really doing vlog, what's it called, vlogmas? Yeah, I'm, I'm full, it's fully committed. Full send. I'm happy, it's happening. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.